a to ti gbe mi ide gege bi se ti wa iyi ti mo wa gbede yi oro to ni se pelu n to sele lawon agbegbe ati lawon kunle kankan ni bo ba ti ya yin aro ye nu temi ko le fe gbo eja lo gboro lenu awon to ni sele yi baba wa padade ka tesi waju lori eto o ti ya over the weekend the sentencing of popular cross dresser idris okunaya also known as Bob Risky, to six months in jail without the option of paying a fine for defacing the Naira, reverberated across social media, eliciting controversy, especially after several videos emerged, showing prominent Nigerians engaging in the same act, including the governor of Niger State, Mohamed Uma Bago, who was seen in a now viral video throwing wads of Naira notes to residents as he drove along the streets of Mina in Niger State. Let's take a look before we come back for a discussion. Well, that's the governor of Niger State there throwing words of Naira. You know, he's loved by his people, but you know, obviously it has caused a lot of reactions. Um, well, since the emergence of that video, the question on the lips of many Nigerians has been, will the EFCC display the same zeal which which they arrested and prosecuted Bob Brisky so as to deter government officials and politicians from defacing the Naira, although the governor enjoys immunity from prosecution while in office? Well, since the arrest, and sentencing of Bob Risky. The EFCC and the court has come under heavy criticism, especially given that Bob Risky was a first time offender and had also pled guilty to the charge. Some Nigerians have described the action of the anti graft agency as abuse of power, while the EFCC, in a statement released on Sunday, attempted to clear the air. Their statement reads in part the EFCC press statement on the issue of the works of the Commission against Naira abuse, dollarization of the economy, and the enforcement of all extant laws relating to them, the EFCC appreciates the avalanche of public awakening, support, and involvement demonstrated so far. Increasingly, members of the public are drawing the attention of the Commission to video recording of abuse of Naira by Nigerians from all walks of life. These gestures demonstrate rising consciousness of the public to the sanctity of our national currency and the need for collaborative engagement to sustain the tempo. To this end, the Commission will always investigate and prosecute everyone involved in the abuse of Naira, old videos being exhumed and flying around for the attention of the Commission are noted as the Commission is sensitive to the fact that its special task force against Naira abuse and dollarization of the economy commenced operations on February 7, 2024. However, going forward, new videos of such infractions will be investigated and prosecuted. At the moment, the Commission is investigating several celebrities involved in Naira abuse Many of them have made useful statements to the Commission, and many more have been invited by investigators working on the matter. The EFCC will not relent in its no sacred cow mode of operations, and the public should be wary of running afoul of laws against the crime. Well, Ayo, as you can see, the EFCC here is saying that this happened, I mean, this law commenced. Uh, in February, actually February 7th. But if you recall, uh, Bob Risky is actually not the first to face Bobby this Fox. whole thing. Uh, do you remember the actress? Yeah. It was a Yoruba actress yeah, that was arrested back in Fe February. Simi Gold. February. February. Yes. She was also Between sentenced. Between January and February, she was, yes. No, it was January. I'm very sure. Mm. And she was convicted and given the So if it was in January, the AFCC is saying that it commenced in 
February. And that's the question out there um, at this point, because she was not given the sentence since she was given the option of paying a fine. fine yeah. But, you know, that video of Bago right there, is, yes. you know, it sends a loud message at this point because obviously he's a government official. We're not sure when that video was released. Yeah. I mean, the people that posted that video were talking about the fact that it was during the Salah break yeah. and he was giving out money. But also, I mean, I'm not sure this is a good uh, signal from the governor at this point, throwing money to people on the streets. Not at all. From a bago of Niger State. But let's talk about Idris Onlariwa Jokune, mm -hmm. popularly referred to as Bob Risky, and what a number of people have criticized as almost um, it, it, um, the, the highest level of hypocrisy and um, a targeting beyond what is just on the surface of him abusing Naira. And I think that's what has um, got a lot of people and made a lot of people quite upset. That if what is good for the goose should mm -hmm. be good for the gander. If you're going to have um, implement a particular law and criminalize something that obviously provision by law, then it should be the same across all boards. Mm -hmm. I know they're saying that oh, they're getting information from other celebrities. We don't want just celebrity convictions. We want convictions across board and to show that every Nigerian is Nigerian the same way that the other person is Nigerian. Absolutely. Not in a different way because number one, he is a bit louder or they don't like certain things about him. We shouldn't have laws that are used to witch hunt or to target certain people. It should be, I think it's that, it's that fairness that a lot of people criticize. There's nothing wrong with security agencies implementing a particular law and serving punishment as I went due. It only raises eyebrows when it seems like there is some sort of exclusivity when it comes to the implementation of a particular law. Um, OG, a number of us go for parties almost every weekend. If you were to pick Nigerians up, would have only half the population of even Lagosians alone walking on the streets. I'm not justifying breaking any law. If it is, as, as is stipulated in law, that it's an abuse of Naira, then let the EFCC in their investigations round up everybody and sentence them. I think what the grounds for a number of people is that it is... Um, it seems like it's targeting, it is unfair, and if it's justice, it ought to be fair to all. Yeah. But in terms of this, on the, on the flip side of things, I must say that this has served as a huge deterrent. Mm -hmm. I've been to some events in the last, you know, in the last few days where people have said, ah, please, I don't want them to arrest me. Yeah. And have. So it's been a deterrent to a number of people. And right. if that's the case, then it's it's successful. Yeah, I have seen videos of people that are just like handing out. Yeah, the just Naira giving you the money like rather than quitting well, the money. A number of issues here. Yeah. One, it's a matter of law. People are saying this is selective judgment. Yeah. Okay? And they are saying that for two reasons. Because it looks like something that is cultural. Everybody sprays money. So why uh, Bob Risky, Idris Okune, that's his name, but popularly known as uh, Bob Risky, he or she, mommy of Lagos. No, he said he's a he at this point. <laughs> okay. During sentencing, he did he, say he's he, a he. He told uh, All right. Justice Aubaro. Let's make that and clear. And the Ikoyi uh, <laughs> prison officials have confirmed yes. that upon due examination, they can confirm that he's a man. See, yeah, that's but, what he uh, said. Yeah, but, you know, it's about gender identity and all of that. But, look, his main defense was that he was not aware. People should know that ignorance of the law is not an excuse. You commit the offense, you, you could be taken. Two, Justice Awogboro has been blamed for going the whole way mm -hmm. because in uh, January, there was another case involving a lady called uh, Simi Gold. Simi Gold <clears throat> was given the uh, option of a fine by the court of uh, Justice Anikwe. And people are saying, oh, why is uh, Justice Awogboro, you know, going, uh, giving the maximum uh, uh, sentence? No. The, the, the sentencing is at the discretion of the court of law. So you can't say the judge uh, erred in law, whatever, uh, because of uh, what he gave. But the main issue, the people saying that, is because the conviction is the fact. Once you have been convicted, that is, you know, the major thing with regard to felony. Number three, <coughs> people are also now saying, what is next for uh, Bob Risky? Well, what is next for him is that his lawyers can appeal. They can go back to court and say, oh, we thought uh, his lordship was uh, high-handed and they seek, uh, you know, some kind of redress. Number four is that, you know, there are probably lessons mm -hmm. that we can learn from this. And I already alluded to that, yes. that people are trying to control uh, themselves. Number five is that the ESCC says, going forward, Anybody that is reported will be investigated. 
Anybody that is caught abusing the Naira will be uh, sanctioned. And the relevant portion of the law is section 21 of the uh, CBN Act of uh, 2007, which is very comprehensive. You know, if somebody meets uh, our delectable, elegant, beautiful model, Ojineka, and uh, takes Naira or dollar out of Naira and writes a phone number on it, it's good. You don't use our uh, uh, national card. currency as a, as a card, card to card. give to Ojineka. No. If so you are reported, Ojinika on this table. Ayo, what is going on? No, there? Ayo. No, no, if anybody <laughs> tries it, you report the person. Yeah. You know, no worry. or you stamp on the Naira. It's a whole range. Yes. Even the selling, hawking of the Naira is a criminal offense. Yes. So we would like to see the ESCC yes. being proactive, arresting people, even at party venues, yeah. you know, who are hawking the Naira or are using the Naira as a complimentary cards. Okay. Yeah. And then well, finally, uh, Governor Bago. I, I think that uh, video was uh, in 2023, mm -hmm. shortly after he won the election. Mm -hmm. But that does not exonerate. exonerate However, yes. he enjoys immunity under Section 318 of the uh, 1999 Constitution. So he's protected yeah. by uh, the principle of uh, uh, immunity. But don't go and copy him. I'm going to do it. Oh, you'll be arrested. You'll be arrested. Well, let's see what the EFCC comes up with now because, I mean, obviously they have said that going forward, they are going to arrest these people caught in this crime. So, Emma Kabo, Chichi Wadi Bami, talking to you about the Kony Wu TV, but Lua Kotu to Bangkok be me. Eti Mommy, Kima will let Daru Kwara Mimo, a mean law, Mung Parabo. A you know, Emma Kulu Kony Wu TV, I remember me like. Emma Shia Kedema subscribe. Chichi Wadi Bianco. Iriu.